Now, Matt, I don't want you getting any ideas from this, but apparently there exist these tools out there. Oh, I'm aware. That allow you to create Pokemon <clears throat> in Sun and Moon from scratch with absolutely made-up stats that are impossible to attain. I believe the term is called gemming. Hmm. In, enlighten us. Um, how does this work? I don't know exactly like how to do it. I know that there's a program that you have to get, and your your 3ds has to be, um, what's the term? Modded. Modded. Yeah. Soft modded. Yeah. Um. Uh, homebrew, that kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, once you get to that, there's a program you can get. Um, I've seen one. I there might be more than just one. Um, but. I was curious about the matter because I have a lot of buddies of mine in college who have, uh, they've either naturally trained, like, stupid strong Pokemon, getting their IVs and everything through, like, breeding, and they've created, like, a super team of their own, which is perfectly fine with you. But as much as I do love Pokemon, and I do plan on create a good competitive team, I don't have the time or the patience to breed the perfect team, mm -hmm. which might sound kind of ironic or hypocritical considering I shiny hunt, because that's just as time consuming. Um, but if you want to skip all of that and you don't want to work on your stats, there is a way to take Pokemon... Um, from your game, like, let's say, um, a Caterpie. You have a Caterpie in, a, uh, in your PC. You use this program, you open up the game, you take the Caterpie. You put it in your, I think you have to put it in your, um, PC box. Mm -hmm. you take the Caterpie in this program. You click on it, you drag it over, whatever you do. And you basically turn that Caterpie... Which could be, like, let's go ahead and give it a realistic level of, like, a Route 1 or Route 2 Caterpie of, like, level 3 or 4. Um, actually, I don't think you can get a Caterpie until Ferdian Forest. So, say level 5. Level 5 or level 4. You can basically turn that level 4 or level 5 Caterpie into a level 100 uh, Mewtwo with just godlike stats that could never ever exist in a game and give it any move that you want like, like it doesn't move. it doesn't have to be like within the moves that Mewtwo can learn just no 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 whatever uh, you could you want him to learn solar beam he'll learn yeah, solar beam yeah um you could run a let's say um and I know that let's say you wanted to run like a super powered um, Bolt Strike, uh, Volt Tackle, Hydro Cannon, Mewtwo, for whatever reason. Level 100, Special Attack, all the way up, uh, HP and Defense and Special Defense, all the way up, Speed, all the way up. Um, why not throw Attack all the way up, just, you know, for super power? You can do that. Super easy. Um, provided that you have the program and a hacked 3DS or modded 3DS. Um, and I believe the term is called genning. Don't quote me on that. That's just what I've heard uh, other people say. Um, but yeah. And you can also you can make illegal Pokemon, but you can also make legal Pokemon doing this method. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah. Well, this has led to some bans. Um, of nearly, according to the Pokemon news site Cerebi, nearly 6,000 people have been banned from going online in Sun and Moon, and all for having altered save data. 
They cannot participate in ranked online battles, global missions, or anything that requires game sync. Um, and it gives you a very standard error message. Um, the connection to Pokemon Global Link from the save data has been denied. Error code 0900212. It doesn't even... It, the other thing is, we, we've talked about, you know, Nintendo banning certain people for for cheating. Um, normally, there's something like, you know, visit nintendo.com slash support for more information or something like that. That doesn't even have it on here. Um, <laughs> so basically it's just, it's, it's basically saying you're going to have to start over at this point. Maybe it does seem to be tied to the save data. Like if they notice any abnormalities in your save data, like in Pokemon with impossible stats, you will be detected and your access will be cut off. Does that make you happy, Matt? That people are doing that? That people are being banned for doing this. Um. I'm not. Like. Throwing a party about it and like. Woo! All you cheaters. Like. Getting out. Mm mm. Nintendo ain't gonna take that. At the same time, I'm not like. Against that. Just because like. If I had the capabilities of Jenning, I would probably do it. But in, like, the legal terms, which uh, this article on Kotaku talks about, uh, there are also people um, who play uh, Pokemon professionally on YouTube who have... um, Excuse me. They've done this. And the way that I figured out how to do this was from a professional Pokemon player who plays on YouTube. And he did a whole, like, hey, this is how to gen video. Um, And it was basically showing how to create, like, a perfectly legal team uh, for competitive. um, In case, like, you don't want to try and do that with an in-game team because that can take a long time. Uh, And you just want to go straight into ranked battling. Um, I think that's okay. Because honestly... People have other things to do, but if you if competitive Pokemon play is fun to you, and you just like want to be able to like stand a chance with other people who probably did the same thing, there's nothing wrong with that. If you want to take like a stupid strong Lugia and make it to the where it just can't die, and like give it the ability like let's say you had like recover protect. Uh, I don't know. I'm trying to think of like stab moves. Um, I, I mean, if, if you had like max out stats, would buffs even work at that point? Because remember, I told you like my Mewtwo, you can only use Amnesia twice, whereas you're supposed to be able to use it three times. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. With Gen 7, you can. You can. If it's all the way to the max of where it can go, you can still, like, go buff it up. Um, So, you can basically make Pokemon that will never die. Which, that's not fun. Going up against someone who's got a team like that, you, you should be banned. And frankly, the fact that you're just that mean and cruel to try and do something like that... I don't feel sorry for you. Well, here's a question. Is there... So, are there two different kinds of online battles? Is there ranked and unranked? Yeah. Okay. Well, you're not banned from unranked. Yeah. Which, like, ranked is... Or, uh, unranked is just, like... Um, like, I think Battling you can... for fun. Yeah, it's you like, know. you can globally fight anyone, or you can do, like, local fighting with, like, other people. Which is, like, perfect. Like, if, if yeah. you have friends and you want to do... Like, I think in, um... That website I talked about, Pokemon Showdown, there's a there's a hacked mon like category that you could play in. And like stuff like that, completely legal. So like if you and your buddies want to just like um gen Pokemon like that and just want to like play around with like these like dumb combinations of Pokemon, that's perfectly fine. Just don't take that to competitive play. Well, see 
I'm going to have to disagree with you on this because to me, the whole point, like this is not, this is not a fighting game. This is not, you take a stocked character and you just go and you just battle. Battling is part of Pokemon. It is not the end all be all. So I'm perfectly okay with them banning you from ranked because ranked you going through the process and raising your Pokemon, that is part of the process. That is like, if you, if you grow like a super team, that's like unbeatable, fantastic. You earned it. You deserve to dominate when it comes to ranked. The other thing is, um, Pokemon yellow kind of had a strategy for like, you know, well, if you're going up against someone who's got, um, you know, level, you know, they just have a, like a level 100 team. Well, then you go into the different cups, and the different cups would say, like, you know, only Pokemon between, you know, levels, or up to level 25, and you can't, their combined levels can't exceed 50, you know, that kind of thing, where it limits, you know, what, which ones you can, you can use, and only, like, in, even then it was, like, only base forms, so then you had to completely rethink your strategy, so to me it's not bring, if you want to bring everyone up to, the same level competitively you don't give everyone like these like huge massively overpowered pokemon you bring them down you stay within the realm of the game um now there were some questions brought up about like well what if someone accidentally what if you trade with a pokemon that's been created this way well hopefully you'll be banned hopefully they'll be banned by then so that they can't trade with you online also, you should definitely be able to tell if a Pokemon is legal or not by looking at its stats. You you can mm. easily like look at its stats and then look special online. stat nine nine nine. I don't think that no. <laughs> no. Um, also, there are certain shinies that aren't you are not able to get them in the game as of now. Um, and I have seen them like in I have seen like in game shinies of like legendaries is like uh yeah the. You, you you can't do that, not even soft resetting, because uh, they're shiny locked right now, mm -hmm. and it's just like you just see people like showing off like, hey, I have a shiny Lunala, it's my favorite, and like, oh okay, um, you don't battle with that, do you? Because like even that is considered like, this is no no. Well, apparently, if you take uh, there's some issues with certain Pokemon just being banned in online battles. Like if you take a Cedra from the Virtual Console game, because I think you can you can transfer them into the Pokemon Bank and then get them into your uh, Sun and Moon copy. If you take that Cedra and evolve it into Kingdra, for some reason, it will not allow that Pokemon to participate in online battles. That may just be a stats thing. I don't I don't think that that's like. I don't think you're being, you know, ban hammered at that point. I think it's it's just simply no. This one, this you know, this particular these Pokemon won't work in the competitive landscape that Sun and Moon currently operate in. I think it has to do with the fact that I think PokeBank just got updated for Gen Seven, mm -hmm. so you can bring other Pokemon from your old games into Pokemon Sun and Moon. But you um, probably can't use them competitively. They, ha I'm pretty sure that there are some Pokemon that aren't in Sun and Moon um, that are in like other regions. Mm -hmm. uh, or, wait, like, Seedra. You can't find that in Sun and Moon, so that has to be transferred using PokeBank into that. I don't know how much they they could have done like the entire Pokedex and done like all 812 Pokemon and like. Uh, revisited their stats and everything like that. I don't know if they have yet. Um, and every other game has had like a national dex. So, to like start off with. So, I think in every other game, they've already had like all Pokemon stats have been updated, all move sets have been updated, all stats have been updated. Right. With this, since there's not a national dex, I don't know if they've updated everything properly because, um, there have been some Pokemon who have had, like, certain hidden abilities or just normal abilities have just been taken away. Like, Gengar no longer has Levitate. He instead gets, I think it's, like, Cursed Body or something like that. Uh, which, by the way, is stupid. And I hate that they did that. Is this one, That is one of my favorite Ghost-type Pokemon. He's Ghost Poison. 
was the... I think he really was, like, the best fairy killer in the game. Because most fairy types have, like, they can get ground-type moves um, and use, like, Earth Power or Earth mm-hmm. Wake, which are just really strong ground-type moves, which could, like... I'm pretty sure a Gengar could live a hit, but... With ground being strong against poison. Yeah. And it's still considered super effective. So now Gengar is... He's not useless, but um, you don't really... I haven't seen a lot of Gengar used in competitive play. Um, I don't think it's completely hindered it, but it definitely has made it less popular in the competitive scene. Mm -hmm. Um, And there could be, like, other... Like, they might be thinking of other Pokemon to do the exact same thing with, like, giving them... uh, certain abilities that could help them or certain abilities that are uh make it easier to like or make them like less hard to kill um kill beat faint we're gonna make it s- i don't know kill just sounds so brutal defeat yeah um and also like again this is like a brand like pokey bank just got updated i think it was this week so seeing things like that kind of like makes sense. Like mm-hmm. there'll probably be like patches that'll come up that are like, "Hey, this is totally okay now. You want to use a, a Kingdra in competitive? Right, go do it." Yeah, um, and it seems like a lot of the the reports of this band they're they're actually affecting like people who are fessing up to yeah, you know, I did alter the save data to to get these impossible pokemon to exist so it seems to be doing what it intended to do if it if it does get to a point though where you know it starts banning people for doing things within the completely normal confines of the game then it's a problem but thankfully it's not doing that yet but you never know this seems to be one of those bands that actually does what it's intended to do pretty well 